Hey, what's up guys? Hey, before I begin the review, I just want to say this. Thank you so much for enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like my videos, comment down below, and overall, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss any new videos I upload pretty much every day. I want to say this before I start the review. I definitely read the webtoon and yeah, spoiler alert uh, for those who did not read the webtoon. If the drama does follow up on the breakup between Yumi and Ung, what comes after that breakup, um, I won't say his name, but his name rhymes with Nabi. <laughs> so at the beginning of the episode, we are reminded that Ung, he told Yumi he wanted to move out. Yumi thinks it's because she brought up marriage and Ung, he wants to tell her the truth. But he's embarrassed of the reason, you know, he doesn't have a lot of money. He's he's living off his girlfriend. He doesn't want to tell her that because he's embarrassed. And Ung Sel, he doesn't they don't want Ung to say anything that'll hurt his pride. Because remember, Ung's number one priority is himself, especially when he accidentally broke Yumi's table and he took responsibility, even though he didn't have enough money. He took responsibility of that and part of it was, you know, for Yumi, but the majority of it was himself. Remember that. And then we get to the next scene. Uh, Ung is officially moved out of Yumi's place. Yumi, she texted Ung asking him if he wanted to go to uh, Samchodong, but Ung said that he was going to a wedding. Yumi asked if she wanted to go with him. And this is where we see Ung looking at his phone and right next to Ung is Sei. We haven't seen her in a while. What? Episode what? 10, I think? Whatever episode it was. But yeah, we haven't seen her in a while. Uh, this scene doesn't really play an important role. Uh, the actress who portrays Sei doesn't do much. Uh, but I'll say that um, Sei does play a role, but only by name instead of physically being there now let's get to the highlight of this episode everything leading up to the breakup i should put that in quotes now at the wedding as yumi was eating she overhears the conversation from two of ung's old friends they were talking about say team say ung being on team say ung liking say ung has a girlfriend what is his girlfriend like and that led to yumi leaving the table and also led to Yumi asking Ung, what do you like about me? After she asked that, we see a montage of all of the moments between Yumi and Ung, all of the good and bad. And of course, after that, Ung does not answer her question. Of course, you know how Ung is. Uh, not answering a question, which leads to misunderstanding and yada yada yada. And Yumi, she's upset. But her being upset does not end there. When Yumi told Ung that she was craving a churro, and we see that long line of people getting their churros, Ung, well, basically left the line, and Yumi never got her churro. This was definitely the turning point. First, let's head to Yumi's cell village. In Yumi's cell village, a uh, love cell placed a gourd at the village so who, whoever was angry would throw bags at the gourd. And of course, Emotion Cell was the first one. And then all of the other cells joined in. Then it got to the point where Yumi was upset. She was angry at Ung, the gourd. It opened and it showed um, a banner that says breakup. So yeah, this is the turning point. Then after that, we see Yumi calling Ung to meet her outside of his office because she wanted to talk to him. And when Ung came out, he was very... Uh, persistent on getting something to eat, uh, uh, eating something that Yumi likes and whatnot. And this led to Yumi kind of hesitating and also having Love Cell hesitating from throwing the breakup card at the target. So, so Love Cell was like, okay, let's just wait until after we eat. And after they were done eating, Love Cell was definitely hesitating again. And then after they left the restaurant, this is where we see Yumi telling Ung, we need some time to think. And then we get a scene hour before Yumi calls Ung, and Ung's AI in his cell village analyzes Yumi's 
tone and realize that Yumi is going to break up with Ung. And that's why Ung was acting like that when he met Yumi outside of his office. He knew that she was going to break up with them. And that's why he, he was acting like that and Yumi was being hesitant. And then Yumi became his number one priority for, I think, the third, no, no, the second time or third time because there were a time before that. But then, yeah, Yumi became his number one priority. And then the episode ends with the question, who is Ung's number one priority? Really, who is his official number one priority? Is it himself or is it Yumi? So my impression on this episode, it really did a good job in showing how how Un acts, how he avoids questions and leading to misunderstanding. And it has its consequences. And that's why Yumi is thinking about breaking up with Un, but instead taking some time off. But we know that Yumi still loves Un. And yeah, there is some complication, but it all comes down to the way Ung is, you know, because he's not telling the truth a lot, avoiding. Yeah, I mean, Ung, he really needs to change. And he like, it's OK to make yourself your number one priority. But when you're in a relationship. You know, you got to think about the other person, too. Now let's get to the webtoon. Spoiler alert for anyone who did not read it. Um, I did end up reading it. I know I said it before. I didn't want anything spoil the journey for me, yada, yada, yada. But I ended up reading it and it was a good read. I recommend reading the webtoon if if you're OK with spoiling the drama for yourself. That's only if the drama does follow up. So anyway, Yumi and Ung do end up breaking up. And what comes after that is Bobby. So Yumi and Bobby do end up dating and there are a complications like um, Yumi didn't want everyone thinking she broke up with Ung because of Bobby and stuff like that. So anyway, now I don't know if the drama will follow the webtoon, but since there is a second season coming, most likely Yumi and Bobby will start dating in in the second season. Um, yeah, so it looks like the drama will follow up on the webtoon. But that means there has to be a third season then. Because Bobby is not the guy she actually marries. So, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> so anyway, to end the video, this was a good episode. Um, if the drama does follow up on the webtoon, spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> uh, but if they don't, then that's going to be really interesting. So I guess in their way, they don't want to be predictable and keep the audience on the edge of their seat, I guess. So. There's that. So anyway, if I spoil the story for you, I apologize. I did say spoiler alert, uh, but if you're OK with that, then cool. But anyway, if you guys like this video, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. See ya.